My name is Signe Olenek. I'm a writer-producer. I am also known as the Meat Locker Girl um, because I did something kind of unusual. I had writer's block, the worst case of writer's block that I've ever had in my life. So what I did was I started Googling slaughterhouses, meat coolers, anything I could think of trying to get through my, my writer's block. And I was writing a script about a guy locked in a meat freezer. I came across a slaughterhouse that was for sale in northern Alberta. I called the woman who owned it and I asked her, can I come out to your place and just hang out? When I got there, I asked her if she would lock me in her freezer and not let me out for five days until I finished the script. So, so lock, lock you up. So like, do you, you bring your food, your drinks and whatnot, but you, you take bathroom break, right? <laughs> Everybody wants to know about my bathroom. Of course. <laughs> they want to know, did I poop in a bucket? Right, right. Yeah, see how, how extreme you were. <laughs> I, doesn't everyone? <laughs> um, I spent uh, five days in the freezer. Mm. I uh, had it fully stocked with my foods, the mm. water, everything I needed to write the script and stay in there for five days and not be let out. Um, I really wanted to have the full isolation experience, mm. which I had for sure and it was one of the the best experiences I could have done as a writer I, I believe in research mm -hmm. and it I think it helped to make the script a lot more authentic um, there were little details that you that you learned by doing that such as it was March it was the middle of winter mm -hmm. and there were flies even though the place was completely clean spotless stainless mm -hmm. steel everything everything was was absolutely clean but there were flies in, in March in the middle of the winter really um, another thing, you know, so that anything related to your bathroom ha habit? <laughs> hey, you're not going to avoid duck that question. <laughs> <laughs> I spent <laughs> well. It's I, completely I, locked up. Uh, were you, or did you take bathroom break? <laughs> no, I, I had a bucket in there. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> oh you, you nailed, you nailed. <laughs> right. So now getting back to the the writing. Yeah. So you were actually completely locked up in it. Then yes, there's no kidding. Yeah, that's, that's you. Right. You didn't take any break and whatnot. So um, that no, that feeling, uh, like there's no light, night and day too, right? You do, do you turn on the light? Uh, um, I did that? have an extension cable in there mm -hmm. to power my, my laptop right, right. and my um, and, and mm -hmm. a light. I had a, like a trouble right. light, mm -hmm. um, but that was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. um, and so I could plug in a, a, heat, a, a kettle mm -hmm. as well, so right. I could heat some instant foods up. Right, right. Yeah. So you were just like uh, the main character in your film. In I some was. Sense. It's it's crazy. It's a twisty story within mm -hmm. a story. It's mm -hmm. a it's. It's about, the story itself is about a screenwriter. Mm -hmm. He's got five days to get a script done or he's going to lose his agent. Mm -hmm. So what he does is he arranges to have himself locked in a meat freezer mm -hmm. to meet his deadline. And while he's in there locked in his freezer, the story that he's writing starts to actually happen to him. Mm -hmm. When he first gets locked is it, in the Is it romance? The story? Well, what kind of story? Oh yeah, it's a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really more of a of a thriller. Mm -hmm. um, I it's it's not as go it's not gory. So it's not like Saw. You're not going to no, see like arms being cut off uh, like on screen or anything. No, like that. you see an arm in a grinder. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Like yeah, right. actually, it's actually a cast of my arm. Our brilliant oh, okay. uh, production designer. Right. Um, Took my arm and yeah, cast yeah. it and, mm -hmm. and made it into so it made uh, an appearance. Made a rubber film. arm <laughs> right. that basically goes like this in the meat grinder. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really not very gory at all. Mm -hmm. Like the whole film, it, it's about this writer. He's got the five days, mm -hmm. and so he arranges to have himself locked in there. Mm -hmm. But things are not really the way they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to be left completely alone, and mm -hmm. he starts hearing noises outside the room and hears someone else typing and knows someone else is there. Mm -hmm. He hears an attack. So he's kind of nervous about being locked in this room mm -hmm. by this crazy woman who you know, kind mm -hmm. of set her up to be a, just kind of a kind of a crazy character that he's not really sure what he thinks of her. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uses all of his experiences to draw from in writing the screenplay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michael Berryman plays um, plays a butcher, and it's one of the best performances I've ever mm -hmm. seen Michael Berryman, and we're so proud. Tell of him. me more about him. He will be here for the Calgary International Film Festival on uh, Friday, September 23rd at 7 p.m. The film has its world premiere at the Calgary International Film Festival, 7 p.m. at the Plaza, and on Saturday, September 24th at 2 p.m. there will be an encore presentation.
So uh, hopefully everyone comes out. They can meet Michael and they can meet Kristen Booth, our other actress. And they both would be in both screenings. They will both taking be taking Q and A's and you and, and Bob. And we will also have the the up and comer Sadie Madu, who is a little girl who played a creepy little boy in our film. Oh, she came to the audition um, disguised as a little boy and didn't tell her parents she was going to audition, but came to the audition and was fabulous. And, and you know, we had no choice. We had to, to have her. Mm -hmm. And she was so, she's just great. She has a fabulous performance and she's someone to watch out for. Cool. So you have got this poster. Can, can we look at the poster yeah, again? Absolutely. So how long does it take to, to have this makeup put on? Like, t tell, tell us a little bit about that makeup process. Um, the makeup process for Michael mm. Berryman mm. was actually not as long as you might think. Mm, Michael really? has mm. a condition, mm. and I can't remember the name of it, but he has a condition where he doesn't have fingernails, mm. he doesn't have sweat glands, mm. he doesn't grow hair, and it gives him a, a bit of an unusual appearance. Oh, okay. um, and unfortunately, I think a lot of times people cast him in, in, in films. Mm -hmm. Because of that because of that and, mm. and they often he gets the role of, of a monster right, right. Um, where with this film it was great because he was able to play a real character he plays a father mm -hmm. a troubled father uh -huh. and uh, he has an arc to his character okay. and right. really changes so mm -hmm. gave him something to really sink his teeth into mm -hmm. as an actor and it's the type of role that most actors really really wish they could mm -hmm. find so right. we mm -hmm. were so lucky to have him it was such a joy to work with Cool. How scary is the movie uh, singing? It's very suspenseful. It's not your typical horror movie. It's more of a thriller than a horror. Um, it's the type of movie where I, I wanted to write something that I was hoping was a little more uh, a, something smart. And I think I, I hope that I've done that with this film. Um, I wanted to write something that was perhaps a little um, was smarter and maybe a bit more suspenseful, not a hacker slasher. That doesn't interest me and that's not what I want to do. I just wanted to write something that would be a ride, that would mm -hmm. be exciting and suspenseful and scary at times, but you'd also laugh too. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's a little bit of everything in there, um, but it, it really is more suspenseful than anything. Mm -hmm. Right, so if someone were like kind of like me a little, that uh, I enjoy thr thrillers and stuff like that, yeah. but not really the slasher, a lot of blood and people who being tortured, I don't have to worry no, as much. No, and I don't enjoy that either. That's not, mm. not what I was writing, that's not what I intended at mm. all. And uh, I think we captured a, the, the inside of a creative, uh, a creative mm. writer and what he's doing and the story that he's got in his head coming mm. out on the page and the screen mm. for the audiences to see. And it's a really neat adventure just kind of seeing that process. Um, it's not like you sit and watch someone type for a 90-minute movie. You're, you're seeing the story in his head as, it, mm. as he writes it. And I think that's probably one of the most interesting parts about the film. The movie is about 98 minutes long. I think the, the script itself was 104 pages. Mm. Um, and we had a budget of 1.2 million. We shot it in a little town called Edson, Alberta, which was fabulous. You know, I might have, Bob, my producing partner, and I may have produced this movie, but this town made this movie. Mm -hmm. They really did. Um, we had, did you hire a lot of uh, local cast or let, let get uh, in the locals uh, involved in a lot? We did. Lot? We did. The mm -hmm. entire cast and crew, almost the entire cast and crew are from Alberta. Mm -hmm. um, most people are from either Calgary or Edmonton. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had about 35 people on the crew. Mm -hmm. And we shot for 18 days. We had 12 days with our star, Eddie Furlong. Mm -hmm. um, Edward Furlong was working on CSI New York right up until the day he came and joined us on set. Oh, okay. And then he flew off to work on another on a friend of mine's mm -hmm. film. So mm -hmm. it, uh, it was great having him too. His performance is fabulous. And mm -hmm. He really brings the character to life. Great, great. So well, thanks a lot, uh, Sydney, for being interviewed by me today. You're very welcome.